This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs and I've got to tell you something. This weather's been playing around with my fishing on the river. I'll give you that much. But I've got one big announcement before we get to our first story. The third round of unsold antlerless deer permits go on sale tomorrow at 8 a.m. Now, what also goes on sale for the first time ever are DMAP, Deer Management Assistance Program, for state game lands. So if you go on, you'll notice some of the game lands in, in the Northeast that are actually you can use a DMAP tag on. So go to the Game Commission website, check that out, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, third round, DMAP on state game lands. Now we're going to introduce you to two guys that we laughed all day when we spent the time with them. Jim McCabe and Bob Washney, they invited us out to do a little bit of fishing. It's not just a friendship, it's a fundraiser, and there's a common denominator. Let's go fishing. Tell me a little bit about your fishing experience. How long have you been fishing? Well, geez, I, since I was a kid, I remember my dad taking us trout fishing, me and my brother, and, you know, as uh Man, a lot of good memories there. Brings so, back a lot of memories. So, yeah, I'm like five, six years old. So today we're fishing uh, Francis Slocum. What do you know about this lake? You do well? Oh yeah, we do. We fished, um, we were fishing quite a bit now since Jim has moved up to Lord's Valley. We have not fished as much, but we do fairly well here. We cut our biggest five for one time was I think 17 pound, four ounces. Wow. For here, which, which is really good. Are you a bass guy? Oh yeah. And how long have you been fishing, Jim? Oh gosh, like, like Robert, I've been fishing since I was a kid. My dad used to take me out, and uh, my aunt and uncle had a house out at Harvey's Lake. So we'd go out there and fish off the docks, and uh, so that's where I started, and uh, just picked up from there, and uh, loved to fish. So how long have you and Bob been fishing together? We have been fishing together for over 40 years. Wow. Um, we met, it's kind of funny how we met. We met at a poker game, uh, at an apartment I had on uh, Zerby Avenue in, in Edwardsville, and our friend Dino introduced us, and we just kicked it off, and uh, we've been friends ever since. So, uh, yeah, about over 40 years we've been fishing. There's one. <laughs> you got him? You gotta be kidding me. You got one there? There it is. <laughs> small one. Unbelievable. Baby uh, smallmouth. Very good. He took the hook good. There it is. Little little one. <laughs> there it is. There it is. On the board. That'll be We're not skunk. We're not skunk, no. There's one on this side too. I missed him. Well our biggest from here was almost four, right? Four two? Four two? Yeah, there's there's big fish in here. There really is. It's uh Got to know where to go get them. Now we're not here just to watch a fish. We're here to help you promote an event. First of all, tell it. Tell me the common denominator besides your friendship with Jim. Well, both of us were. Um, I was diagnosed first with prostate cancer. I'm eight year survivor, and then Jim's probably about I don't know four years out. I think he came up with the idea. He wanted to raise some money for a prostate cancer foundation. So we brainstormed a little bit. We talked about maybe 24 hours. Straight fishing? Yeah, which was crazy. Our wives, thank God, told us not to. <laughs> you know, so we were lucky in that aspect of the game. And um, yeah, so we're, I think this is our fourth year. So now you fish one day for 12 hours. Tell me why you do it. Well, <clears throat> we do it, the, the fishing part is to raise awareness to prostate cancer. Uh, we're both prostate cancer survivors. And uh, we felt that uh, since we survived, we want to give something back so others can survive as well. So uh, we came up with fishing for 12 hours. And uh, like Bob had said, it was originally 24 hours. Our wives talked us out of it, thank goodness. Uh, not sure we could have made that. But um, so we, we fished for the 12 hours. And then uh, 
you know, we have people that come out and they put their boats out and fish with us, and uh, it's it's a good time. And uh, then after that, we go to to our rally at uh, the Slocum Street Sports Bar in Scoresville. So the fishing itself is really all about awareness, right? It's Correct. Not sponsored or anything. Nope. Two nope. guys having fun, but for yep. twelve hours. Exactly right. Yeah, it's not a tournament. It's kind of a unique setup. And uh, we didn't really want to do a tournament. It's a lot of work. Not, not that this isn't, but um, it's worth every, every, every penny we get that's donated. Oh, it's a good fish right here. It's a good fish right here. I mean, a big one, Jim. You got one? Yeah, I got one. Of course I got one. <laughs> Where he is? Where is he? Oh yeah, not a bad one. Let's just flip up right here. Oh, that's a nice one. Very nice. Very On the board. Nice. There you go. Beautiful fish right there. Not bad. Healthy. Cold. It feels cold. Uh -huh. Enjoy your life there, buddy. Isn't it funny how a disease or a, an illness like prostate cancer can make you think, I need to raise awareness? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. And it changes your life. You know, so you want to do stuff to help somebody else. You know, that's in our nature, I think, of, as, as good people, as good human beings. We want to do that. So, you know, that's what we try to do. This is a, this is a good one. Oh, my God, this is a real good one. Stay on, you big doggy. There he is. Let me see if I can get him without falling into a little drink here. Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. Uh -uh. Oh, I got him hooked pretty good. And he's gone. <laughs> he got off? Yeah. Oh, I want to thank uh, some of our donators that have been with us for all four years at Cast the Fur Cure. Uh, we've got Pizza Heaven in Luzerne, great pizza. Uh, Hooker's Terminal Tackle, if you're a fisherman and you want to buy some great tungsten hooks and weights, they're the place to go to. Scratch Kitchen over in Plains, dynamite breakfast there. And, uh, and everybody else that donated, we want to thank you for for your donation. Look at this. <laughs> You're hooked down. No, I got a fish on too. Look at this though. Oh really? It's up in the tree. There, it broke free. <laughs> we got him. We got this one. We're coming right in the tub here. Look at that is. Come on, don't come off. There you nice go. one. Oh, yeah, nice one on the deck. Not sticking them good at all. It's a nice fish too, right? So what day is it and how can people get involved? Uh, the date is Saturday, September the 9th. We will be launching right here at Carverton Road at 6 a.m. Uh, we'll fish till 6 p.m. and then head right over to the Slocum Street Sports Bar. Uh, we ask people to get there at 6 so they're already there when we arrive. Uh, everyone's welcome to come. We'd love to have you. Um, you know, we'll have tons of baskets and gift cards to raffle off. And uh, raffle tickets are $10 a piece. You can get a hold of us on our, on our Facebook page at Castin, C-A-S-T-I-N, for a cure. And uh, so uh, they're $10 a piece and it uh, goes into the bucket and you never know what you might win. I know one of our prizes is what we call the lottery fish. It's a fish covered in lottery tickets. <laughs> so you could have a million dollar winner, who knows? You, you, you never know. <laughs> yeah. So the lake was a little bit murky. You could see even when they were catching fish, the weather got a little bit hot on us. It wasn't about catching tons of fish. It was about getting to know those two, sharing their cause, and inviting you to join them for an evening of fundraising. We had a great time, guys. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back.